joyfully live, love, and create in magical realness, beauty, truth, and passion by the grace of Christos Sophia Anthropos. We create ourselves, husband, wife, spiritual partners, soul partners, earth partners, and love makers in joy. All right, we've just told you all about ourselves. <laughs> well, I'll say something about Leela. She is a, a designer of ceremony. She is a photographer. She is my most favorite relationship on earth and through working with Leela I have become something that I wasn't before. <clears throat> <laughs> Sweet. How many women want to hear their partners of 22 years say that? <laughs> David. David Tressimer is my beloved. And I knew at the minute I saw him the very first time. And he also has the distinction of uh, having been a, uh, a Harvard PhD graduate in psychology. And he comes with a unique and fabulous way of embodying the masculine intellect, strength, purpose, vision. And uh, it's been our delight over the last 22 years to work together, to create together, to write together. Um, we did the Star House for the last 20 years. Some of you may know of Star House. Well, and hopefully you will know it better after Equinox <laughs> of this year <laughs> when you attend the Equinox. The Equinox is great because it's every place on the planet is equal day, equal night. Every place. But that changes rather quickly because that's the most, that's the, it looks like balance, but it changes rapidly going into it and coming out of it. It is dynamic balance, which we all live in our lives. Balance. Very much in relationship. We live that balance. So our focus on Ups this and downs. <laughs> coming in and out and then finding the sweet spot. And so we're talking on, on this weekend, um, September 15 to 18, uh, leading into Equinox, which is actually the 21st, about dynamic balance, about the masculine, divine masculine, divine feminine. How do we each embody that in ourselves? How do we find it in our relationships? And if we're one of us is not in a dynamic personal relationship, it's also relationship of self within relationships and self in relationship to nature. So we're not only focusing on couples, so couples do tend to like coming because I believe couples need a lot of work together. They need to be able to come into workshops and remember some skills and and get re-excited about that, but so do we all in relationship to living life. We work with a model called we call one, two, one. Little one, two, big one. And you have to be you have to find your own sovereign self in the little one. You have to be comfortable in yourself. That's the foundation. Then you can have a relationship which will help you with your one. <laughs> And so one and two, and through the pathway of embodied loving relationship, you can find the big one, which is communion with everything, all of creation. You've, the, the joy that comes from that is immense. And you're not meant to live there all the time in sort of this wonderful bliss state. You go there and then you come back and you work on stuff. Stuff comes up, even for the blissful. And you work, th work through that, either through a relationship or in yourself, one-to-one. -one. It's very, very helpful. We've um, designed the weekend to include everything from that kind of work uh, and including something that's dear to both of us, which is the, um, the Gnostic creation myth, mm. so that we can understand better a new context of where we come from. I love quoting Thomas Berry, one of the great luminaries who's now passed on, who's served the earth and sacred ecology profoundly. Thomas said, we need a new story. The old story about how the world came to be and our place in it is no longer effective. And we, our challenge right now is to create a new understanding of how to be human. And I think all of us... Let me add one point there, because it's really important to know that it's not like, well, you have story and then there's the facts, what science has discovered. That's a story. Hmm. It's so full of holes, it's like Swiss cheese with ho more holes than cheese. And they've made a story out of it, but that story denigrates the human being. 
corrodes the sense of who we are as individuals. And that's important to understand that that's a story and there are other stories too. Mm. Thank you. Find it, yeah, and finding how, what it means to be a human in, in these times, in a time when so many systems are collapsing and we're facing so much tension, whether it's environmental, relational, political, economical. It, it, we're in a kind of planetary pressure cooker and we need all of us to figure out what is the dynamic balance. So a time of equinox is great to mm -hmm. be asking all those questions, feeling them, navigating, negotiating, getting really big, connecting to a bigger story than even the story of our planet. What's a galactic possibility mm -hmm. to give context to That's the why? big one. That's the big one. Why are we going Galaxy? through all this? <laughs> yeah. Why are we going all through this at the it's one level? It's not all a mistake. And at the two level, <laughs> it's not all a mistake. And we've done books and things and DVDs, but the, <laughs> the point is that we're going to be live in action and working with individuals to find themselves and also make themselves better able to work w through relationships. A, a great privilege. And we promise it'll be a lot of fun.